Only on two, a plane built in Tulsa that led the airstrike on D-Day is now being restored and it made a stop back home today. All the uh, instrumentation in the, in the airplane that was working in World War II will be back in this airplane working just like it did in World War II. Two Works View reporter Megan Allison shows us the plans to take the aircraft back overseas for the 75th anniversary. This C-47 led the charge in Normandy as the first plane to fly in on D-Day. When the commemorative Air Force group found it being left to rust out, they made bigger plans for its future. The Douglas plane flew in from Wisconsin Monday afternoon, marking the first time back in Tulsa since it was built, about 70 years ago. This particular airplane was actually built in Tulsa. So that's the history of this airplane has actually come home. The commemorative Air Force, the intention is to restore the thing back to its original configuration in World War II. That's still a work in progress, but the goal is on June 6, 2019, the 75th anniversary, the commemorative Air Force will fly back to Normandy, sending paratroopers down once again. Anticipation is building, especially for World War II veterans. These gentlemen that actually get to see these and they're still flying, it's almost like you can look at their face and you can see that they, their mindset has gone 70 years ago. Gene Noble is one of them. He served in the Air Force and flew into Normandy himself. Today, he was brought back to that memory. When they landed and were amazed at how few uh, fatalities there were. Right. Others simply appreciated getting up close to this aircraft for the first time. To be able to touch this piece of history is just, it's, it's just, the words are just indescribable. The, the, the opportunity that this is. The flight dropped off restoration materials. From here, it will go to Dallas for a CAF conference, but it will come back to Tulsa next month. The goal is to get this plane back to its original state by next year. That means everything from new radios to a fresh paint job. Reporting in Jinx, Megan Allison, Two Works for You.